It's early summer, and the rural landscape comes alive with the neon yellow of canola and the periwinkle blue of a flowering field of flax. To learn about the goodness of these and other grains, we're going to head 30 kilometers south of Calgary to visit the home and headquarters of Highwood Crossing Foods. Hi, my name is Penny Marshall, and I'm an organic producer. And I'm Tony Marshall from Highwood Crossing Farm, and I'm passionate about local organic food. Penny and I met in Medicine Hat at a, a grand opening party. And uh, we were immediately attracted to each other, I think, uh, you know, because of our, uh, our family histories. We were uh, both involved in retail business. I think there was that uh, immediate connection and bond uh, between the two of us. Pretty much immediately we uh, knew that we wanted to start farming uh, organically. So that uh, involved quite a process and we uh, started off on that uh, process together and uh, initially just thinking that we would uh, grow crops, grow organic crops using the traditional uh, methods that would have been used on the same farm by my great grandfather and, uh, and grandfather. We grow uh, a lot of the same crops that you'd see on any uh, conventional farm on the prairies. We grow oats and wheat and rye and flax and hay and sweet clover. We have about eight different crops in our rotation. To become certified organic is a, a, a process. You pay a fee to have an application with a certifying body. You know, you have to make that line in, in, the, in the soil, to draw, draw the, the starting point. And so we did that and then uh, uh, everything that we did from that point on was uh, moving towards our organic certification. We had to start making choices about which crops to grow and it's a, a three year process to have your land certified. In 93 we began, uh, it would be a crop that we planted in order to make the transition to three years without using any uh, herbicides or fertilizers and, and having that documented. Mainly we just got our, our feet under us on growing the crops. Flax is, uh, is a wonderful uh, crop for us and a wonderf wonderful product. Uh, just about every one of the products that we make uh, has flaxseed in it. Not every year is a flax year. It's a high uh, nutrient crop. It takes a lot of the, uh, the nutrients from the soil. And it's also a, a very expensive seed um, to, uh, to plant. So when we do plant it, we want to make sure that it's going to grow. After about 100 days, the flax is ready to be combined. The next step for the seed is to be transferred into grain bins. When the flax is ready to be used, it's taken to the seed cleaning plant to remove unwanted debris. Then the flax goes back to the farm where it's pressed and packaged. It's so slowly pressed in a, in a reciprocating, reciprocating screw press. Um, the oil comes off uh, one side and uh, the uh, a meal, uh, press cake, which is a co-pot product of the pressing process uh, comes off the other side. We press the oil uh, to order each week. So the stores and restaurants, uh, chefs, uh, bakeries will phone their orders or email their orders in on Monday and then we'll press just the amount of oil that we need for that week. It's a very slow process, so it really is a, a very uh, small artisanal uh, micro micro oil press. It's a variable speed press. We can uh, we can turn the speed up, but we like to press uh, slowly because it uh, it creates less friction. It is a cold pressed oil, so it uh, keeps the temperature down. We always press it under 40 degrees Celsius, and so that a factor. So by pressing slowly. Uh, it uh, gives us, we feel, a better quality oil. We don't do anything else to it though, like we don't filter it, there's nothing else uh, done to it. So it's, it's really a very, very pure, simple uh, process. Each year, depending on the uh, land and the soil where it's grown, uh, those characteristics will be reflected in the oil. If it's been a hard, uh, a hard year and the plants have, uh, have been under some stress, the oil will be different than on a year when there was lots of moisture and uh, the, the, the crops weren't under as much stress. I love to see it growing. I mean, it is such an incredibly uh, mystical plant. It's those uh, incredibly, you know, cornflower blue flowers. And then it's just, it's such a super, super healthy, healthy uh, food to eat. It's one of those things that you can put in a lot of things. I make chili, I put some flax, ground flax. I make bread, I put some ground flax. Anything baking 
I know I'm gonna healthy it up by putting some ground flax in it. When we first started off, we were just growing the, cro the crops organically and selling them as a commodity, but we uh, fairly soon realized that uh, we needed to do something more to, to make it sustainable. We added the other component of, uh, of the value added. We'll take uh, the flax that we grow and uh, add it into the ingredients, or we'll take the rye and uh, you know, make it into rye flour, or the wheat, uh, you know, make it into wheat flour. We started with the canola oil and flax oil. Granola was the next. Home batches made and put in little deli tubs off to the market. And we also uh, brought in a muffin mix, a muffin and pancake mix, and some flour, uh, the stone ground whole wheat and rye flour and also a, a power grains wheat free cereal. So there's, uh, you know, there's that component to it that has really added a, a huge uh, d degree of complexity to it. We have two daughters. They were part of why we decided to add value to what we, we grew. Both live in Calgary now. They've both been uh, part of our, our farm, especially the farmer's market. And now there are sort of informal board of directors for the, the next uh, wave of how we communicate in uh, Twitter land and uh, social media. Highwood Crossing has been honored with numerous awards and distinctions, including an Innovation in Agriculture Award and the Habitat Steward Award for Environmental Sustainability. We're part of an amazing food community in this area. Calgary's a fabulous place for committed uh, chefs, committed food writers, and the restaurant owners who have embraced the local food movement. It's very inspiring what uh, people are doing with using our products and bringing in a, a whole range of others to the, to the marketplace as well. It's, a, it's an inspiring community to be part of. There's various places around the city and depending on where you live. Community Natural Food pretty much carries all of our line. The Farmer's Market is the Calgary Farmer's Market and the Kingsland Market in Calgary, guaranteed. Farmers are the biggest optimists in the world. Every year, just to think that they'll take that seed and on blind faith, you know, plant it in the ground and then, you know, wait for it to grow. It's a tough game, and uh, but incredibly rewarding. An interesting thing about flax is that it doesn't grow in areas too far south from here. It needs to be in a cooler area, so uh, this part of Canada is a great place to grow flax. We really are blessed to have just a, a wonderful, wonderful group of, uh, of customers and supporters. Any time that I'm feeling, uh, you know, a little bit down, that uh, you know maybe uh, what the heck are we doing here? I just have to reconnect with any one of those groups, and I'm re reinvigorated and recharged uh, and ready to take on the world.